I like to think this year as being the year of the roguelikes. So when I think of roguelikes, I think of fast paced action games, sometimes with card mechanics, but lots of customization. So I wonder when you think of roguelikes, do you think of potatoes? Well, maybe you will. I was really keen to play the game Lost Potato because it comes from the same developer who made Space Gladiators Escaping Tartarus, which I think is one of the more underrated platforming roguelike games. It's a lot of fun, so you should definitely check out that one as well. But Lost Potato is different, even though it carries on that theme of having a potato as a protagonist. Maybe potatoes are a gap in the indie game market. Maybe there is some unrealized potential about the potato and you will find that out with this game here. Lost Potato is definitely different in style and mechanics of escaping Tartarus. And it's sort of your more arcadey, fun, quick pick up and play roguelike game. You are a potato with some kind of embellishment, perhaps a bow or a viking helmet on your head. And your job is to clear the levels the best that you can. Now the interesting mechanic about Lost Potato is that you cannot actually attack the enemies yourself. You rely on different environmental helpers that you can use to defeat the waves of enemies. So that might be spikes in the ground that you can push them into. It could be kind of a boomerang looking shuriken thing that you can hit and then sort of take care of those guys and then also a few different other ways that you can make your way through the levels. I must say the first few times that I played I kind of died in the first level or two and you quickly get the handle of what you're meant to be doing and the way that it controls. It feels a bit like a dual stick shooter although you don't really shoot it's more about your direction that you're attacking which will push put a bit of momentum into your enemies or the projectiles and fling them in that direction. One of the cool things about Space Gladiators that I always liked was how the different characters feel different when you're playing through and Lost Potato has that feel although it's probably not as realized in the other game. You do unlock different characters or add-ons or skins whatever you want to call them that have different features so some might be slower some might be stronger some might start with less health things like that so playing through does feel a little bit different for each character being such a defensively minded player like me i always go for the characters that have the most health because i know that i'm going to end up eating a few projectiles along the way so i need to try and sort of keep myself as safe as possible now don't be fooled by the fact that you might have some sort of pooping grandpa looking enemies on the levels. This game can be pretty challenging and I must say that I have made it into the 20s I believe in terms of the waves and I still have a fair way to go. I really like the way that the enemies sort of progress in difficulty as you play through and they kind of change the way that you need to move and strategize through the levels. I know that once you get to the kind of cyclops leering enemies all of a sudden being in the corner and trying to fling everyone away from you becomes a little bit more challenging. So definitely well designed in that fact that as you get further and further into your run your playstyle has to change. Now every few levels or so you get the choice of an upgrade which you can maybe fling things a bit further, gain some health back, gain some speed, those sorts of things which give it that roguelike element of play and I think it's a lot of fun. So Lost Potato is not going to be that game that you sit down and you play for sort of 10 hours but it's definitely a game you can pick up and have a lot of fun for 20 to 30 minutes and it has that addictive element in that because it's not that easy you kind of get that frustration when you die not at the game but at yourself so you go ah I just need to play one more go because I shouldn't have died there I'm sure I can get a bit further so I feel like it is definitely a good buy it's pretty cheap as well I believe on the Steam store I think it's only a couple of dollars so check out Lost Potato it's releasing pretty soon if not today and I'm sure you'll have a lot of fun with it let me know in the comments below how you are going in terms of getting through the waves and also which is your favorite potato to play and let's hope that you know in 2020 we might see another resurgence of the potato protagonist in video games 